Our topic for today is about how to divide using subtraction. What we will use is what we call repeated subtraction. For example, we have 20 divided by 3. So we keep on subtracting 3 from 20 and its succeeding values until we get a result which is less than 3. So example, so let's start. So 20, we subtract 3, is 17, we continue subtracting until we get a result which is less than 3. So continue, minus 3, minus 3, 11, and then minus 3, so 11 minus 3 is 8, then we continue, so minus 3, this is 5, okay, so from 5, we continue subtracting, so we have 2, okay, now 2 is already less than 3, this is now our remainder. Now, how do we get the quotient? What is the quotient here? The quotient is the number of times that we subtracted 3. So, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, our quotient is 6. Now, how do we check if it's correct? So we will multiply the quotient with the divisor. 6 multiplied by 3. We know that this is 18. And then we will add the remainder. We will add it to the result. So 18 plus 2 is 20. So this is the original value that we have. So that's how you perform division using repeated subtraction okay we know that if you just use short division method it will be easier right so if you have 20 if we will review our division operation 20 divided by 3 the answer is 6 so 6 times 3 is 18 we minus and then 2 here this is the quotient and this is the remainder. So that's how you perform division using repeated subtraction. Now let's complete the division process in decimal. So if we have 20 divided by 3, actually the answer will be whatever is the quotient plus the result of the remainder divided by the divisor. Now, from the previous example, we have the quotient from this problem. We get quotient 6 and remainder 2. So, we use those values in this formula. So, we have 6 plus the result of 2 divided by 3. So, we again perform division 2 divided by 3. When we divide 2 by 3, we know that 2 is less than 3. So, according to the rules of division, so we add 0 at the right of the decimal point. So we take it as 20. 20 divided by 3. The answer is 6, but we will put 6 at the right of the decimal point also. So it will be aligned with a 0. So we take it 6 times 3. It's 18. And then we will subtract it from 20. We get the result 2. And then we bring down another 0. So we repeat. So 20 divided by 3, it's again 6. 6 times 3 is 18. And then we subtract. The result is 2. And we bring down another 0. If you will notice, if we observe, it's like it is repeating. So always the result is 20. And then 6 will be the quotient. So it will be a repetition of 6, never-ending 6. So therefore, we can stop and then we just round off 
until up to three decimal places. So therefore, two divided by three, we have 0 0.667 if we round off. So this is just 6.67. So if we will notice, if we will observe, the remainder there is not the one that is 0 0.67. 6.67. 0.67 is actually the decimal representation of the remainder divided by 3. The remainder divided by the divisor. So this is the explanation. So if we will divide 20 by 3, the complete answer in decimal is 6.67. But if we want to separate the quotient from the remainder, so we have the quotient is 6 and the remainder is 2. I hope we have understood it clearly. Okay, let's take another example. Let's say we have 95 divided by 8. So we do the same step. 95 minus 8. We know how to perform subtraction. This is still bigger than 8 so we keep on subtracting we again perform subtraction again we subtract 8 okay continue so minus 8 we have okay and then we continue so 5 5 minus 8 55 minus 8. We continue because we still have a big value. This is not less than 8 yet. So minus 8. Continue. Continue. Minus 8. Continue. Minus 8. Okay. So we continue. 15 minus 8. So we have 15 minus 8 is 7. Okay. Now 7 here is already less than 8. Therefore we stop. And this is now our remainder. How many times did we subtract 8? So we count. This is 1, 2, this is 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our quotient is 11. So 95 divided by 8 is quotient 11 remainder 7 because if we will review our short division 95 divided by 8 9 divided by 8 we know that it is 1 1 times 8 is 8 we subtract 9 minus 8 is 1 bring down 5 15 Divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. So we subtract. 15 minus 8 is 7. So this is the quotient. And this is the remainder. So that's it. Those are, so any value that you want to divide with any value. If you know the short division method, then that will be very good. You can also perform subtraction, repeated subtraction, until the result is less than the divisor. Okay, so thank you for watching.